Well, welcome, welcome to the Personalization with Ninetale Bootcamp course lesson number nine, our last lesson of this bootcamp. We are done with the bootcamp after this one, and then you'll be able to go get your certification if you'd like. Now, today's lesson is all about using the Ninetale um, application inside of Contentful. And you'll see how that works by building a personalization experience. And it is presented by Andy Kaiser. He's the CEO and founder of Ninetale. And of course, if you want to learn more about him, we have a great interview with him under the introduction section of this course. Now, having said that, uh, Andy, welcome back. I'm going to let you get started. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, all those of you watching live, questions, put them in the chat. It's all yours, Andy. Thank you, Marcelo. And uh, hello to everyone. And uh, in this lesson, we will really look into how to create uh, different personalization experiences with Nintelt in Contentful. This is just a short example of uh, what we can do with Nintelt. Uh, as we have seen also in the bootcamp, it's about uh, testing, it's about experimentation, A-B testing, personalizations, etc. Today we will focus on uh, personalization and we will focus on uh, Contentful. And uh, yes, to start, uh, some overview about uh, what we will see today and how Nintel works uh, uh, in this example. So, uh, first of all, Nintel is a platform or experience orchestration uh, which uh, connects uh, content from different content sources. It can be headless CMS, but it can be any uh, content. And uh, on the other hand, uh, we connect uh, all the content data with external customer data. And that's one of the things we have seen also in the bootcamp, and which is uh, really important. So check again the first and the second lesson uh, about how important it is uh, to have uh, first party data, how important it is to uh, define the segmentations. And today we will see different uh, audiences or different segmentation. Uh, but going back to what we will see as Nintelt, um, again, Nintelt is a, a, a platform, an experience orchestration platform, uh, which connects, uh, for example, uh, uh, contentful content data with external customer data, which can come from uh, a segment, a Shopify CRMs. Uh, today, we will see an example with a CRM, HubSpot, and it also connects with uh, analytics tools like Google Analytics, Amplitude, Snowplow. Uh, right now, we have over 15 uh, integrations. And uh, as we are an API, uh, we really can uh, be integrated in any channel. Uh, we have customers which uh, have integrated us in website, uh, emails, uh, mobile apps, and of course, uh, their shops. So let's uh, go to see an example and create some uh, personalized experiences. So here we have uh, an example. This is a, a, a B2B site. It's uh, just a site uh, with some components. We will see them also in Contentful in a couple of minutes. but. We see here a banner, a navigation bar. We have a hero with a, a visual, some headlines. And here we have other components or other element sections of the page, like these features and this, uh, this uh, use case. And of course, we have different landing pages. So let's focus on the home page and especially on this uh, banner on the top. So let's jump to Contentful. And here in Contentful, we have uh, this uh, uh, landing page content type. And here it's important, um, uh, in the case of Nintel, uh, it can be integrated in any content type you have in Contentful, but also in other headless CMS, uh, as a graph CMS and others. So let's go to the banner section here. And uh, if we scroll down, here we have the variant. And that's the concept behind it. Uh, we have personalized variants, which are connected to different audiences. So let's go to this uh, USA banner. And sadly, I'm not right now in the USA. I'm in Europe. So let's create a banner for uh, Europe. I will click here. I have prepared this. So I can insert this one and I put it here and I open it. And here we have this specific uh, experience or the specific text for, uh, for European visitors. So let's go here. I have here attached this, uh, this variant to this specific audience. So let's check it to be 100% sure. And exactly here we have uh, the, the, the conditions. In this case, it's an audience uh, located in Europe. So let's publish the changes. And 
go here, publish. So what's happening now, it's uh, uh, as this site is uh, built and next, uh, it's uh, deploying uh, the changes of uh, uh, Contentful in the, in the website. So let's reload. And I have to say, I'm of the old generation F5, always uh, clicking reload. And sometimes it takes a little more uh, to deploy. And uh, now we see here, I'm in Europe. So I'm seeing this uh, personalized banner for Europe. So let's uh, go and do some other examples. So we have here uh, some landing pages and here we have the pricing page. So let's go to the pricing page. And as soon as I click and load the pricing page, you see it, the banner has been changed. And this is because uh, behind Ninetales is identifying uh, the intent of the user and has identified, oh, okay, this user has, uh, has an pricing intent and is in the pricing audience. So again, uh, the banner has been personalized for this, uh, for this uh, pricing audience. And uh, let's go to the, another example and let's see, okay, I'm seeing, uh, for example, uh, an ad or some uh, TikTok story. And uh, if we click on it, let's see it. Whoa, all personalized for the TikTok uh, traffic. Here we have the banner and uh, here we have uh, the hero adapted for uh, this uh, TikTok audience and we have a special discount. And that's important also, uh, as we have seen in, in previous uh, lessons from this uh, bootcamp, it's always about creating the right experience for uh, the users. So in this case, uh, if we look into the story, into the ad of TikTok, we see this image and this image or video is then represented again in the landing page. And this is about this uh, experiences and this uh, personalized experiences. It's always about getting the right content, the, the right, uh, the right uh, images for the user, depending of the, of the journey of the user. And, Real uh, quick question, Andy. So does that mean you created a, a uh, audience for specifically for TikTok users um, that you assigned? Or do you have a social media audience? Like what is the process? Mm -hmm. on that? That's a really good question. Uh, we work both ways. So we have uh, uh, best audiences or default audiences for, uh, for our customers. So it depends really about the, about the, the type of customer. But uh, we have best, uh, yeah, best, uh, best recommended or best uh, use cases uh, audiences for different uh, for different uh, verticals for different audiences, and also uh, we create audiences automatically from other systems. So, for example, if you have a, a CDP uh, which is generating segmenting uh, audiences, these audiences uh, can be shared with Nintelt automatically, and then they uh, will be able to create uh, experiences for this audience in, in okay. Contentful or other headless CMS. Perfect, thank you. And um, let's see here, we have a special discount. So I will go here and here again, we're on another page, another component, and uh, we have also a personalized uh, message here again. So let's uh, go and uh, do some, uh, some form filling. So I will put here test. And uh, let's say I'm from Google and we'll have more than 2000. And uh, let's test, fill out some test user. As this is a demo, we will not uh, spam Google. But uh, let's click Submit. And what's happening here as soon as I click Submit is uh, the form which is connected with HubSpot will send the information to HubSpot and HubSpot will send all the information about this user to Nitel. And in this case, we see, oh, wait, this user uh, has filled out different information, is from Google. Google has some characteristics in, in HubSpot, like, for example, uh, what kind of uh, category it is. And based on that, uh, we have, and you see instantly, uh, personalized uh, the, the banner, but also if I go back to the homepage, also all the, um, all the homepage has been personalized for the enterprise uh, customer. And that's uh, how it really works. It's like uh, you have the content and you connect it with the, the profiles or with the data of these users. Real quick, 